I guess this is the Clan William Garage uh, panel truck uh, part two. I got a couple messages, guys, asking how we're doing with all the Crown Vic parts in uh, this build. You're looking right there at the drive shaft, which ironically is a perfect fit for this truck. So if this is a short, basically a short bed, then you'd be at 112 inches, I think. And we had, um, uh, the only thing we had done is, as I mentioned before, we moved the, uh, the axle back an inch and a half to get a better placement in the, in the wheel there. And that left us about an inch and a half off on the, uh, with the drive shaft. If it was in the original position, it would actually be uh, quite perfect with the 2004 Crown Vic um, drive shaft. Now what we're doing is we got an engine and transmission from a 2011 and then we ended up with a, a donor vehicle which is now, let me show it to you. Um, and so this, if anybody knows how to turn a CNG 4.6 into gas, let me know because this came out of the 2005. And this is the rest of the 2005 plus a little bit of yard cleaning. Phoenix uh, police uh, emblem there. So that's Kyle Ashley, he's my builder guy, and he's a talented, very talented fabricator and all around good looking, smart fella. Matter of fact, he banged out this, we cut the back corner off of here and then uh, banged it out, put it, welded it back on. That's the extent of the bodywork on this build here. Um, we've used a lot of the Crown Vic parts and I'd like to mention some of that. As a matter of fact, the transmission uh, cross member uh, got cut out of the 2004 that I just showed you and Kyle refabricated it, bolted it to the underside of the frame there and we're using that uh, as well. Now the steering column came from Amazon for about 190 bucks. It's a GM type thing. I don't know the, we're going to have the key on the dash and the shift on the column and um, that's so then I also mentioned that the brake pedal is from the uh, Crown Vic and when you come around here to the radiator and the condenser um, all of this came out of the Crown Vic also now in the in the Crown Vic the the frame horn jumps way up uh, at the front of the car the radiator sits way low so what Kyle did is fabricated a bracket here to raise it up then you're going to find, if you try this, you got about four inches of extra plastic right in here, which we trimmed off, and it, we're able to get a, you know, an inch and a half, two inches clearance for the electric fan going back to the uh, engine. We're not going to be able. We thought maybe we could use the uh, the cop car air conditioning components here, the fan in that, but it's too, it's just too huge. We only had a little bit of trimming on the inner fenders, um, not bad at all. And then electrically, um, oh, let me mention that this is the brake master cylinder, which we are um, looking at some brake lines today. Yeah, so Kyle fabbed up this um, cover to um, just clean that up in the front. And we've got the radiator overflow again from the, from the Crown Vic, which has a little uh, finger on there and he fabbed up a little chingadera there to to hold that so this is going to be the the crown vic international um and hopefully it rides like one too um also okay so on the electric we had trouble uh, uh, figuring out what was going to happen with the ecm and the body um um uh, uh wires that got cut off and so I was kind of disappointed by all my Brainiac uh, car guy friends who didn't have a step-by-step -step solution. What the solution is going to be is a, a modified brand new wire transmission body harness kit from Ron Francis for a thousand bucks. And that's going to replace everything on the engine and transmission to every sensor. Every wire on here will have uh, new plugs. And it will be all three plugs are going in here, but the center one, which is the body uh, harness, 
will only have a couple wires that will basically get the car to start and run. What I don't understand yet is that, so this car was a drive-by wire, right? Right here. And there's at least six uh, throttle position sensors that go with the wiring. And I'm not sure yet how that gets figured out. If that's Ron Francis's thing or if that's something I will do because I will still need an extra wiring harness for the sake of um, the dash, uh, you know, and lights and turn signals and, and maybe um, gas uh, fuel pump. I tried, I took a, I had a fuel pump, a, a gas tank from the, from an old uh, pickup and I took the fuel sending unit out of it and I was testing it yesterday and it almost seems like it's going to work. So anyway, uh, oh, then Restoration Specialties, $455 has the whole kit for the LRS. And so we're sorting through some of that rubber uh, right now. That looks uh, pretty good. Matter of fact, they even have the, the rubber gasket for the triangle window, the vent window in the cab. And then um, I got all the cardboard and stuff, the door panels coming to. I just forget the name of who I ordered them from. So I think that's about it for right now. Um, we're doing okay.